Good morning, hi, how are you? Um, I hope you're well where you are, hope you're safe, and I hope you're uh, sticking in. Um, it is just after 7am, I'm in London. Um, plans have kind of gone out the window a bit. Um, my little flat, my little one bedroom, I live by myself. So, I thought I'd show you what I'm doing whilst I'm sticking to the guidelines of self-isolation um, and social distancing. I intend to keep on working. Um, as much as possible, do have the team with me, but we're gonna do as many videos as possible for you guys, um, and just keep it moving. I always start my day with coffee and exercise. I um, we normally go to the gym, but it's closed, it's totally fine. So I'm gonna have a little run, whilst keeping my distance around London. Um, <laughs> we'll see, and I'm gonna have um, just a coffee to get moving. see this is my little space which you can see later this is where I'm working from this is my living room um, it's a blessing to live by yourself sometimes but also it's a bit of a curse um, it can be a little bit lonely and I'm very much just in my space I think during this time of not having people around me I'm just throwing myself into work um, <laughs> classic but I've got products down here these are a lot of the, the kind of products and stuff that I'm gonna be covering off in the next week months there's more over here yeah, have been watching the news religiously, um, which again has been good, but again has been bad. Um, but I'm trying to stay informed, so coffee, news, run. Keeping as much of your normal routine, I find actually helps. Good for your mental health, good for your mind, keep connected to other people. Um, actually, in the podcast I've been doing, which I just started this week, it's called Self Isolation. I've had three guests so far. We've been talking about how, you know, we're all in this together, and it's about really just ensuring that you're staying connected with people. You're keeping yourself moving, you're sticking to guidelines, you're taking advice from the right sources um, and not from people like me, hi, um, and just ensuring that you're really keeping yourself safe and also keeping those who are vulnerable around you safe. So um, there you go. When we get changed, then we're going to run this. Run this town. Right, okay, who is ready? Who's ready to run? You ready? Yeah, okay, let's go. I absolutely love this run from Vauxhall over the bridge. That's MI6 there. This is the duck that I've had the most contact with in like the past week. Morning, how are you? Two meters? Probably a bit more. See you later. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Oh, goodness. This is always one of my favorite parts of this run. Westminster. Oh, Ben. What's going on? Hey. There's Ben. It always feels really weird running here. It's kind of like the epicenter of the UK. Well, decision making anyway. Not always the best decisions, but decisions. And then, I don't know. Okay, back to it. I do time these, but I'm just enjoying going with the flow and actually getting a bit of a, a fresh air. Also, I have the best podcast in my ear. It's Tiesto. If you like dance music, if you like some heavy bass, this is the one for you. I'll link it. Also, shout out St. Thomas's Hospital. Shout out to the NHS workers, honestly. You guys, you are next level. Really makes my job look pretty pointless and silly. So, yeah, thank you. Oh, really felt that. Okay, that was uh, 4.3 miles. Um, wash your hands. Um, I would say, I know that the UK is in a bit of a different position than a lot of you guys at the moment, so I'm sorry if you can't get out at the moment. I'm just gonna try and 
do as much as I possibly can, just in case the situation changes, that water is so hot. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, there you go. Normally at the gym or with my personal trainer, uh, we would be doing like stuff on mats and other things, but make doing men. So there's a few different, um, come with me. There's a few different like apps and things. I know a lot of you will have some favorites. If you do have like a favorite exercise app, I'm definitely not some sort of exercise blogger, uh, fitness blogger, then let everyone know in the comments and that should help. But I have one which I love and have done for years. It's called Eight Minute Abs. It's quite literally from, I think it's like 60s or 60s, maybe a push. It's the 80s. It's super camp. It's, it's great. So um, I'm gonna do that. Also when I do it for eight minutes, my abs literally feel like they're gonna, I don't have abs. I'm working on it. I've never had abs. Um, but this is really good. Get ready for the music, honestly. That's so retro. Don't judge me. Oh, do you know what? Judge me. Hi. Okay. No gloss, no glamour, much like the production on this, but it's done. Okay, uh, shower time. I mean, you're not gonna come into the shower with me, but I can certainly tell you what I'm gonna do. There's a few products that I'm like testing out and a few products that you'll know that I use. Um, spin you. Um, in terms of shampoos, I'm still using Nioxin. Um, this is system two because I ran out of system one, but essentially this is all about scalp health. So I've got the like cleanser, which is essentially the shampoo, the conditioner. But I'm also um, testing out other shampoos and conditioners at the moment, which we'll be featuring um, on the channel, but also on manfromself.com. Maria Nila, is it? Yeah, Maria Nila. This is a Swedish brand. Um, I'm trying this at the moment. It's a shampoo and conditioner. Kevin Murphy. I love this. I've used this before. I just think it's a really great shampoo and conditioner just for a sort of like every day or second day, third day, whatever you want to do, sort of use, depending on how your hair feels. Um, shampoo to kind of refresh. I feel like with Kevin Murphy, I know what I'm getting. It doesn't overly strip. So a facial cleanser situation. At night, I am double cleansing. So I'm using an oil to remove any of the sort of like makeup products, so powders or concealers. That will uh, really sort of dissolve them. But it's also great for just like daily dirt on the skin. So um, at the moment, I'm using Shiru. Shiro, um, but I also love a brand called DHC. These are both Japanese brands, but excuse this, but I'm really into cleansing bars at the moment. So uh, one, I think it's better in terms of there's less packaging, um, and then you can kind of just use as much as you want. And um, this one is Estee Lauder. It's an algae bar, algae bar. <laughs> and there's another one here that I'm using, um, and I just chop little bits off it. Do you know what? I can't remember the name of this one. I want to call it Miracle Bar. I keep it in the fridge and I chop a bit off. Let's check. But that has AHA and BHA. Yeah, it's Miracle Bar. This is amazing. I've really enjoyed using this in the morning and night. Um, so just kind of like foam the face up, get it in. And I just find then you're not using too much. You're using just the right amount of product onto the skin. So I absolutely love that. That's really me. That is like, that's it. I keep it really quite simple in the shower. One thing I am kind of like living for at the moment is a really good shower gel. Um, several that I love. Goop by Gwyneth Paltrow. This is the ginger one that she's got. I've loved this. This is so expensive. Is it worth it? No, but it does give me this instant. The ginger is so beautiful in it. And also if you are sort of in the market for an amazing shower gel. Corez is so good and these are amazing. This one is Fig. These are so luxurious, so thick, so foamy. They also have these sort of, um, I think like more masculine scents. So actually they layer really well with fragrance. I love this. If you've not tried these, please try these. They're, they're so, so great. And then sort of like other end of the spectrum in terms of price, Bulldog have got these, these shower gels, which I featured actually, and they're definitely on the site, there's a few. I took home the vetiver one, it's this vetiver, yeah, vetiver and black pepper is amazing, but also the peppermint and eucalyptus. Bulldog can do no wrong in my eyes at the moment. So I'm gonna get showered, then we'll get into the, get into the bedroom and we'll um, get moving. 
Right, okay. Hi. <sighs> Clean. At the moment, I'm not really shaving so much. Just, I thought I'd just see what happens again. Um, something's quite nice. I, I have been sort of trimming down onto the neck, but today, you're going to get me like this. A uh, few little products that I absolutely love. Um, I don't so much have a morning routine. Uh, well, why have you named this morning routine? No, I, I have products that I absolutely love, and I kind of change between these products depending on how my skin feels. Um, I'm a, I'm a real believer in giving your skin and your hair what it needs when it needs it. Much like if you're feeling dehydrated, you're going to drink more water. Or if you sometimes get that moment where you really want something sweet or you want a piece of fruit. I'm kind of like in tune with my skin and I just, and I do what it needs. Um, but a few wee things that I'm going to do today. Um, this I love, I featured it before, Disciple Balancing Mist, it's beautiful. I don't know if it's maybe more placebo effect, but I like the way it feels. It's got copper oxide, pretty sure it does, let's read this. Um, hormone and skin balancing geranium, water with healing protecting, copper, perfect for long flights and late nights. Um, not so many late nights at the moment, not so many long flights. Beautiful, absolutely love that. Um, next, I've been trying a few different sort of serums. Um, I've been using a lot of like hyaluronic acid. I know there's a bit of a, a, a debate about hyaluronic acid and if it's maybe not so great for our skin, but I love this. This is Tan Lux, the glow. This has got hyaluronic acid and it's also got a touch of tan in it. It's not dark, honestly. It's just gonna give my skin just, just a hint of a glow. So um, also hyaluronic acid, it's gonna lock in the moisture and just keep my skin feeling good. So just a couple of wee drop, drop, drops. And it doesn't stain. Some some products I have used before sort of stain, especially around facial hair. It can give you sort of orange lines. This doesn't. I like this. Do you know what? I'm gonna go and get a coffee, hang fire. Mm. If it's not coffee, it's wine. Um, and right now, it's coffee time. This product, another one I love, Dr. Dennis Gross. And I love this under eye cream and around the eyes. This is so expensive. I got sent this uh, to review. This to me is a five star product in performance, in quality, in how it makes me feel, in the smell of it. It's so great, but it's so expensive. Can I afford this product? <sighs> I would have to just like use it on high days uh, and holidays. And I feel like with products like this, you want to be using them all the time. But this is vitamin C. I'm so sure of it. Yeah, C plus collagen, brighten and firm eye cream. So. It's fantastic and I've had it in videos before. Dab, 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 dab. There are so many great um, like eye roll-ons. Again, I know Bulldog does some, L'Oreal Men Expert do some. Um, we'll get on to that as soon as I can get back into the office, hopefully, and get some more for you. Or I'll just order some in here. Um, but, you know, are eye creams, eye gels needed? They're further down the sort of list of priorities for me, but at the moment, when I've got, when I've got a bit more time at home, um, I'm just gonna do these things just to as I say, make myself just feel a little bit more in control of the things I can control, you know? Right, next, the moisturizer that I have been loving at the moment is part of Clinique, Clinique ID. So three different sort of bases. And um, they've got one for, they've got a jelly, they've got this one, which is oil control gel, and then they've got um, different cartridges. I'm gonna show you this. These are on manfromself.com. I'm gonna put it on screen and I'm gonna link it. All the info about these are on. Um, you get a cartridge that goes in, and it's all about you sort of finding your own skin ID. I love this idea, I think it's genius, and I think for us guys who might have slightly oily skin, but we've got fine lines and wrinkles, or we want to uh, sort of even skin texture and tone, this is amazing, um, I absolutely love this. So this one is texture, I'm sure, we, I'm sure I've done texture, because my skin could just be a bit more even, especially onto the forehead, okay. I just need something that's just gonna keep that shine off the skin. Genius. Okay, I have been trying the Bulldog deodorants, natural deodorants, all the good stuff, no bad stuff. This is lemon and bergamot. They've also got a natural one, they've got the vetiver. I like this, but um, I, I feel like the performance isn't as good as my trusty one, Mitchum. If you've used this for years, I absolutely love it. I'm a sweaty beast, so this just locks me right. Um, so this is good, right. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get changed. No one wants to see a naked Robin. Um, if you do, then you have issues. Um, but thank you very much, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna get changed, and um, yeah, I'll be ready. Oh, there we go, as if by magic. Um, Gap t-shirt, just a plain white with a little pocket. Really nice, comfy. Uh, this is from Arquette, um, Arquette, Arquette. 
But yeah, very much my blue, man from South Blue. And then jeans, just a classic MVP um, via thread. Okay, get yourself changed, do your face, do your hair, do whatever makes you feel good and makes you feel like you're not just stuck um, in, in one place. Let's give you a spin. Please don't judge me on how like messy this is at the moment. Um, we can all excuse our, our flaws at the moment, I'm sure. Okay, spin. This is kind of like my little, my stuff at home station. Night products, day products, uh, all my glasses are over here, my fragrances. This is stuff kind of like, I use a lot in the office and I try stuff in the office, but these are some products that I've taken home because I either absolutely love or that I'm testing at the moment. So some really great products in here, which you are gonna see more of. Loads of stuff, all my favorite fragrances, but uh, glasses, this is a mess, don't judge. Yeah, okay. Because I'm kind of like rocking this messy beard at the moment, um, I'm just using a little bit of beard oil. Beard oil is not just for the actual beard or the moustache, the hair. It's also for the skin underneath. When you have facial hair, you'll sometimes find that it starts to feel a little bit raw, a little bit rough, and sometimes a bit tight. So a beard oil is really gonna help that. Again, there's loads of different brands um, from different price points. I'll cover some off. If you wanna see stuff like this, let me know. But this one, I absolutely love. Herbivore, such a great brand. This one is Palo Santo. Push it in. Smells amazing! Let's do hair. Classic Bumble and Bumble Primer Tonic Lotion. Love this. Preps the hair. Kind of smooths that out a little bit. Also boosts it. It's got protectants if using a hair dryer. Amazing. But I also want to add a little bit of texture. One of my favourites at the moment, Sasha Wan um, Ocean Mist. You'll have seen this. Pretty sure these are both Holy Grail. If they're not, they need to be. And I'll sort that out. So, don't be shy to layer and experiment with your products. Hair dryer, medium heat, fast speed. There we go, huge hair. Falling back in love with Claymation by Hans de Foucault. It's just a product that I feel really comfortable with and I love. For the length of my hair at the moment and the kind of texture that I want, it's good. Into the hands. Do you know what? Let's go this way. Big hair, looks like I don't have a care. Um, loads of volume. I'm like, why the hell not? So I think I'm just gonna do like banana. Also, I probably need to be clear. See this wine? I got a wine delivery last night of five bottles. Sangiovese, Pinot Noir, Montepulciano. Um, if you like wine, and this isn't sponsored, but should be, as I said on Instagram stories, I had a guy on a scooter from an app <laughs> deliver me five bottles of wine. I got a deal on them. Um, and if you want 15 pounds off your first order, uh, and I would get a little bit of commission on that for more wine, then I'll put the details down below. The app information is there, but my code is RJ666. <clears throat> okay, two bananas, usually. The worst smoothie of my life, but we're gonna go with it, aren't we? Okay, no peanut butter, I just want a bit of sweetness, agave nectar. Where's my peanut butter? Almond, unsweetened, unsweetened. <laughs> Into a pint glass, why not? That's actually really, very good. Right, I'm gonna finish this. I'm definitely someone that drinks too much coffee, but oh well. If you're working from home, which I'm sure a lot of you are, get yourself into having a space which is just for work. I separated my living room into a work zone, which is here, TV on this wall, which kind of moves out, and then my sort of like living -y area here. Um, but let's spin for you. I've just taken home my MacBook, which is there, I've got my drives, which have got some edit stuff, I've um, got all my plants, which I just absolutely love, it makes me feel like I'm um, a bit outdoors, this cheese plant is just like on another level. Get a candle on if you can, scented candles just change life, let's get this on. Alexa, gorilla lamp on. Ah, there we go. Let's get this on. This is Killian, the scent of winter. This is so gorgeous, Killian makes some amazing scents. You guys will know from um, from my videos, but he's also got candles. Joe Malone make great candles. Killy make great candles. Um, I've got a Yankee candle. I just I love a candle. It just really sort of changes the vibe. Okay, when you're set up, I'm just kind of going online now. Um, I've got people I work with who are still working at the moment. Um, just really trying to keep this going. Oh, and I would say 
thank you for still watching and thank you for keeping um, me sort of sane. I really appreciate it. I know that we're all kind of up against it at the moment. It's all a bit unknowing. We kind of don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm going to keep on going, keep uh, doing content. I know there's there's greater things going on, but yeah, I think if this can provide some light relief and sort of take your mind off a few things, then I'm then I'm pleased with that. Um, but I'm gonna like power on, actually, guys. I'm gonna get this edited. I'm also gonna sort out my new podcast, self isolation. It's um, we've got six questions on there that I have lovingly called the self isolation six. Um, I'm really pleased with it. The feedback from it so far has been amazing. Um, so if you've not heard it, I will link it in the description below. But thank you very much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me, as I say. Um, I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're you're doing all right in what in what you are. Um, talk to me in the comments. Let's keep this going. Let's keep a dialogue. You guys are literally, from what I've seen, literally the best group on the internet. You are so supportive of each other. You're so supportive of me, and I just. Yeah, I can't thank you enough, so let's stick it out together. But um, subscribe if you've not already done so. Uh, I'll pop my links to social, I'm doing loads on Instagram stories, trying to keep you company, uh, doing some lives, etc. But um, yeah, I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye. <laughs>